47,000 people die every day from a heart attack around the world. Half of the number of cardiac deaths occur outside of a hospital, and some research tells us that survivability rates are directly related to the response time of medical personnel. Imagine if there was a device you could wear that would automatically alert emergency services if a crisis occurred, thereby saving thousands of lives. We, GG, are a team of undergraduate and graduate students who have made just this, an easy to wear device that will continuously measure and monitor your ECG, transmit the data through a body area network, and alert before it's too late. The device consists of several different parts, an ECG sensor and electrodes, a microcontroller, a Bluetooth transceiver, an Android smartphone with an application, and our own design of a planar inverted F antenna. We have three electrodes which are easily placed on the torso measuring the electrical output from the heart. Two electrodes will measure a difference in voltage, and a third will act as reference. The sensors make an analog measurement and filters out the relevant frequencies. This is a plot of an ECG measured with our device. The microcontroller we are using is an Arduino Uno and it acts as an AD converter and handles the data. The data is transmitted through the transceiver shield to provide our antenna with a Bluetooth low energy signal at 0 decibel milliwatts. Bluetooth low energy was chosen because of its low energy consumption, thereby improving battery life and minimizing electromagnetic radiation near the body. The antenna is designed to be able to transmit surface waves while placed on a large dielectric load such as your body. The simulation tool CST was used to design the antenna with the right dimensions, predict the radiation patterns of the antenna, and calculate the return loss and the bandwidth of the antenna. The antenna was etched and modified with copper tape until the transmitted frequencies corresponded to the Bluetooth band and it produced a satisfactory radiation pattern. The bottom of the antenna consists of a large ground plane to minimize the impingement from the body. The field is made wide to increase the bandwidth. The materials used are copper and FR4 laminate, which is well suited for cheap design and tinkering at home. The properties of the antenna were measured in a 3D testing chamber. These are the results. These plots show a good transmission as the antenna efficiency is over 50%. Were the antenna to be placed near a dielectric load, the spherical pattern would be reduced to a hemisphere, and surface waves would be produced. We have also measured the return loss with a network analyzer. As you can see, the resonance frequency is within the desired range. The antenna will be used to make contact with an Android app on your phone. The Android app will then print measured ECG data on the screen. From here on out, it is but a small step to include algorithms that will detect signs of cardiac arrest before the state gets critical. With the press of a button, the data displayed is instead the signal strength for demonstration purposes. Amongst the signs sought after is an elevated ST curve, which our device, with a sampling frequency of over 500 Hz, will be able to measure. This is our entire system in action. We have measured the signal strength in three different ways. The first from 1 meter free space, our result was minus 52 dBm. We have also measured from the front pocket, our result was minus 55 dBm. Finally, we have measured from the back pocket, our result was minus 68 dBm. These results are satisfactory, as minus 70 dBm is the minimum requirement for all Bluetooth devices to maintain a stable signal. We currently have a device that can be permanently placed on a patient to monitor their heart wirelessly. We are confident that with further software development, it will be able to detect the heart attack as it happens and send an alarm. We have an antenna that gives a clear signal anywhere on the body and with continued work our device can be made smaller, cheaper and commercially available. If people at risk would use our device, we are confident that thousands of lives can be saved.